Hello, I will in this video demonstrate how you can use ArcGIS to make a histogram. I will do so on a variable in a point feature layer on internal conflicts from 1980. To make a, uh, any diagram, you can start the graphs menu, create graph, Clicking on this, and we got up a uh, uh, wizard here. And histogram is one of the options to make uh, a diagram. Now, the variable I want to make a histogram of is in the top layer in the table of contents, so this is okay. And the value field is the polity index showing the democracy levels of the countries affected by conflict in 1980. Now I want to have more of these pins here. Uh, I can change this here and there is 21 values here plus the missing data so let's try having 22 pins here. Then I'll uh, continue with the next. Here I can change the title of the histogram. So I type in a new title here. I'm almost done there. So now I've made a new title, but I'm still recording the video. So I'll click, I need to talk like this because people are going to listen to this. Um, I can also change the uh, labels on the two axes here. So the bottom one I could change a little bit so it's more informative. So quality index I could put it in here. I click finish and then this appear here. The nice thing with this diagram is that it is linked to the map. So, for instance, if I want to look at which, where are the conflicts in countries having high index on the democracy level, so more democratic levels, and these uh, points representing conflicts in 1980 are then highlighted in the map. And where are the conflicts in the more autocratic countries? By uh, selecting these in the diagram, the selection is also visible in the map. And then, according to conflict theories, um, one should assume that there are not so many conflicts taking place in autocratic countries because then it's too much control and it's difficult to organize any opposition. And in democratic countries, you have more peaceful means of solving disputes. And here is then actually where you would expect there would be most conflict, but this may not seem to be the case for 1980 as there is not so many conflict here in the middle categories of the democracy levels. So I can turn off the selection again. Um, of course, there is, you should maybe be able also to make these labels here nicer. I leave that for you to explore. If you are able to find out this, you can maybe go into the advanced properties and look at something here. If you want to uh, export this diagram uh, as an image file, for instance, you can do this from the export menu. You can copy it as a, as a graphic element and pass it uh, into a Word document, for instance, or you can add it to the layout. So this menu here, you activate just by right-clicking on wherever you are in the diagram. That was all, folks. Thank you for listening.